Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Dej. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present Day 12th of June Lead Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today is Math 6 to Square. It's a medium level question on Lead Code and I totally feel the same. In the morning when I saw this question, I got pretty happy because I have already solved this problem in the month of June 2021. The like says it all, 150, which is pretty good in number, so does the comments. Everyone has stated that I have clearly explained the algorithm and I have used a technique named backtracking to achieve the solution. And for all those who are not aware of backtracking, Coding Decoded SD Preparation Sheet comes to rescue. If you go and check out backtracking series, then you will see that the first video in this sheet represents the template that explains the backtracking technique and once you go through this template you will yourself see that in the rest of the questions the same concept gets applied and so does in match 6 to square problem as well however i just checked and so does the subscribers of coding decoded dead that this solution is giving tle why is it giving tle so let's walk through it so this is a solution we are moving in a positive direction so if you have gone through the video then you will realize that this solution is starting from the 0th index going uphill towards the positive direction at, by, and then uh, when, when the uh, iteration across the entire array is exhausted it checks what is the state of all the four sides of the square if it happens to be equal to the target all four of them then it returns true that means we are moving uphill and one of the subscriber rectified the solution however he moved in the downwards direction so let me just show his solution as well which is this one so moving against the motion or towards the motion in decreasing order or in increasing order in terms of indexes should really doesn't impact the algorithm so what was that one thing that was impacting the, the algorithm it is arrays dot sort matchsticks i didn't sort it up hence my solution was giving TLE so if I add this statement then it will be accepted however I have to sort this up in reverse order why reverse order let me just share that as well with you so let's submit the solution first and let's see which test case is failing so the test case that gets failed is something like this we have 1111 followed by 102 so if you carefully see then these elements are already sorted in nature and lead code generally provides the maximum number towards the end if i sort this up in case the array is not sorted and i reverse the entire array then the solution will get accepted so let's try that up so let's write arrays dot sort and let's pass in nums and along with that Let's write a helper method, which is basically reversing the entire array. Void reverse. And let's part, pass in nums. Let's write i equals to zero. Um, let's take j variable and that will point to the end. While i is less than j. What do we do? We extract the temp, uh, the ith element in a temp variable. Nums of j gets updated to nums of i gets updated to nums of j. Standard way of writing the reversal and nums of i gets updated to temp. And with eth iteration, we are incrementing i, decrementing j. So now let's try the solution up. Obviously, I should invoke the reverse method over nums. Yeah, now I should try this up. Accepted. So this test case passed. And so does the rest of the algorithm. Why is it behaving right, appropriately right now? Because the corner case, this one that I have specified at line 35 gets met first being 102 in the starting rest of the element are lower in value therefore the abortion conditions are met first and it improves the time complexity in a drastic manner it is 50 percent better which is pretty good i hope you got the context there was no incorrectness in the algorithm 
However, in order to improve the time complexity, we sorted the entire array in reverse order. That's it. I hope you liked the reason for it. And if you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question.